So let's validate this form. It's a simple process. Dreamweaver will validate the form for you if you know what you're doing. So we're going to select this input field. Make sure you select the tag or select the field itself. We're going to go to insert form. Now, your validation is right down here as long as you have the correct one selected. So as an example, I have an input field selected. So if you select the text area, it's not going to work. So I'm going to select validate select. And it puts the validation tag here. Now I'll go through this in detail in just a second. Then select this text field. Insert form text field. Now, we could have done this to begin with when we started, but I don't want to make it too confusing for you. So we're just doing it now. So I selected field, insert form, validation, text field, email, insert form, text field, text area, understand text area, text fields, you things. Insert form text area. Make a change, save change. Now this is going to do all kinds of CSS and JavaScript files on the server. These are considered dependent files, so we have to say okay. Now for the radio buttons, unfortunately the radio buttons don't work as as efficiently as just selecting this. So to this, and I go to insert form and select validate radio group, which I can do, it gives me a whole new set of parameters. So in this particular case, it's going to make a lot of sense to just build this from scratch. Now, we could have done this from scratch to begin with, but I don't want to confuse you. So we're just going to shift return and insert form validation radio group. We'll call this the same thing we called it before, response. And do the same thing we did before. Radio head copy paste TV head copy paste web search copy paste. A friend. Copy, paste, hit OK. Now, here's the magic part. This needs a whole other set of CSS and JavaScript. So when you save the file, these are considered dependent files. When you publish the file, you'd have to say dependent files. Yes. OK. Now, let's see how this uh, looks when we publish this. So publish file, file, preview in browser, or I can hit command. Command F12 for Macintosh, Control F12 for Windows. So in this particular case, testing server, yes. Dependent files, yes. All the CSS and JavaScript files made for this validation form, we're going to hit yes. Okay. So I'm going to intentionally not select this. I'm going to show you what happens. So let's put... Billy so web search and uh, I need help ASAP now if I hit contact us what happens it says this has to be selected because please choose didn't have a value very important step here Please choose and not have a value, so I have to select something. Okay, now when I select something, so if you don't fill something out here as an example, or here, or here, it's going to generically pop this up. A value is required. Now you can make these custom by changing inside your code. You could just say a value is required, first name is required, last name is required, email is required. So let's just put back in there again. So now, when I click contact us, it's filled in properly. 
So if I go back to Dreamweaver, we can customize this. Now we can do this one of two ways. We could go to the code and change it from here. Okay, but the simplest way to do this too is if you go to your CSS and turn your CSS off. Now, very important step here. This icon right here is not set up by default. This turns your CSS off, this turns your CSS on, off, on. This is not here by default. You have to go to view, toolbar, or style rendering has to be selected. Style rendering has to be selected. By default, out of the box from Dreamweaver, from Adobe, it's not selected. So you have to go to view, toolbar, or style rendering has to be turned on. If that's turned on, then I can click this icon right here and I can change this. So let's, let's call this, please pick a subject. And let's put here, enter first name. Just makes your site look more professional if you know what you're doing. Enter last name. Enter email. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we can say, uh, comments are required. Q U I R E D. Make a change, save a change. So if you go to turn the CSS back on and I go to live view. So if I go to submit that, you can get these error messages here. But this is email address, and then here it says, please make a selection. In this particular case, that's fine. Now, in this particular case, comments are required. You want this to be on the bottom line. So a simple way we can do that is we can just go turn the CSS off and just hit the, put your cursor right here and hit shift return. Shift return is a new line, not a new paragraph. Very important to understand the difference between a paragraph by hitting the return key creates the P tag, shift return creates the PR tag. So if I go back to I view and I hit contact us, it's gonna say comments are required, please make. Now, whether or not you wanna make comments required, that's totally up to you. So don't validate it, don't make it a necessary field. And that gets you through how to basically create a simple professional looking form with CSS rules, using field set, using legend, formatting your input values, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Keeping it simple, creating a thank you page, all the files are up there that you need to make this work. Thanks for supporting my videos. Thanks for supporting me. Have a good day. Please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Adobe videos at Adobe videos. Thank you. Carpet DM. Have a good day.